Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to understand the followings. How we can edit our favorites. And lastly, we are going to see how we can move our favorites from one instance to other instance. So without wasting any time, let's begin the video now. If the user wants to access the applications and modules easily, then they can make the applications and modules as favorite by clicking on this star icon. So we are going to make the self-service application as favorite. When we click on this star icon, you will see that all the modules present under the self-service application becomes favorite. Okay, now we are going to make a module of incident as favorite. So we are going to scroll and find the incident application. We are going to expand it and we are going to make create new module of incident as favorite. We are going to click the star icon. Once we click it, it becomes favorite. Now, when the user makes applications and modules as favorite, then it will appear under the favorites navigation menu. As you can see on the screen, we have made the self-service application as favorite and create new module of incident as favorite. So they are appearing under the favorites navigation menu. And if you want to reorder your favorites or change the name of your favorites, change the icon, color of the icon of favorites, then you can click this icon. Once you click on it, it will redirect you to this page. It says edit your favorites, drag and drop to reorder them, change their names, color and icon or remove any. Save your changes once you are done. What we are going to do is that as you can see, create new module of incident appear in the third place. So we are going to just drag and drop it to the second place. Now it appears in the second place. And we are going to change the name of it to create new incident, change the icon to pencil and change the color of the icon. Okay. Now we are going to save the edits. And once we click it again on the favorites navigation menu, you will see the create new incident module. Favorites has appeared on the second place and the uh, icon has changed plus the icon color is also changed. Now we are going to edit the self-service application. So we are going to click this icon again. And now we can see that we are redirected to the edit your favorites page. And we are going to reorder the self-service to the second position. And we are going to change the name, colors and icons. Once we click on the self-service application, you can see the icons are gone. They are disappeared, but we can change the colors and the name of it. So we get the point to remember that when you make a application as favorite, then you cannot change the icon of that application. It means that you are only allowed to change the icons for the modules. Okay. Now we are going to change the name of this application to service. Now. self-service and we are going to change the color hmm. why the color is not being changed why it is not being reflected here we are changing the color why it's not being reflected here because the colors of the modules icons are changed now we are going to expand it and you are going to see it so these are the icons of the modules and you can see the colors of these icons are changed now we are going to change it again watch here you can see okay okay so this is also a point to remember that the icons and the color of the icons will change for the modules only not for the application for the application only change the name of it we are going to save the edits and we are going to just click it again now you can see self-service application has been reordered and when we expand the self-service application you can see all the modules icons colors has been changed okay so that's how you can edit your favorites now we are going to see how we can move our favorites from one instance to other instance. 
For demo purpose, we are using this particular example that we are going to move our favorites from one instance to other instance. But you might be thinking that what is the real use case of this? How it will help you in the real scenarios? So what might happen is that you are working in the customer instance and there are multiple customer instances. For example, there can be development instance, test instance and production instance. Now what happened is that you come to know that the development instance is going to be cloned from production instance. And you have marked many of the modules and applications as favorite in the development instance. And you don't want to mark all modules and applications as favorite again after the cloning of development instance is done. So what you can do is that you can follow this approach that we are going to see. And you can save your favorites from being disappeared. Let's see the approach. Now we are going to click on favorites navigation menu and pin this. And you can see on the screen that there are favorites available. Now we are going to move these favorites to other instance. For this, we are going to follow the easy import and export functionality. Whenever you perform a particular action in service now, there will be a record created in a particular table. And this goes same for the favorites also. Whenever you make a module or an application as favorite, then there will be a record of that created in a particular table. And the table name is bookmarks. Now we are going to open the list of all the bookmarks. For that, we are going to click on all navigation menu and with the help of filter navigator, we are going to open the list of all the bookmarks. So in the filter navigator, we are going to write sys underscore ui underscore bookmark dot list. It will give all the bookmarks records. Now on the screen, you can see that there are bookmarks available. What you have to do is that you have to search according to your username. So in the user column, you can see we are going to just show matching to our name. Right click, show matching and there will be the favorites records available. And these are the same favorites which you are seeing on the left hand side in favorites navigation menu. What you have to do is that click on any one of the columns options and after that click on export and after that click on XML. Once we click on it, there will be the export XML of these records. So we are going to download this. Keep. So it's downloading. Now it's being downloaded and now what we are going to do is that we are going to move this XML to other instance. But in the real use case that we have discussed earlier, what you're going to do is that you're going to export the XML of your favorites. And once the cloning of the development instance is done, then again, you will import that in the bookmarks table. So let's quickly move it to the other instance. Now we are inside the other instance and once we click on favorites navigation menu, you can see that there are no favorites available. With the help of easy import method, we are going to import the XML that we have exported in the other instance. And where we will import it in the bookmarks table, correct. To open the list of records of bookmarks, we are going to click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator, we are going to write sys underscore ui underscore bookmark dot list it will take us to the list of records of bookmarks and we are going to click on any one of the columns options and then click on import xml now we are going to import the same xml file that we have exported from other instance click on choose file We have selected the same XML file and we are going to upload it. Once we upload it, we will see all the records for your user. We see all the records of the user. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to go back to the ServiceNow page. Now we will click on favorites navigation menu and see if the favorites are available and are the same. 
okay we are going to click on favorites navigation menu hmm. let's refresh the page why the favorites are not coming up okay now now you can see this now you can see all the favorites available here so you have to refresh the page so that's how we can move our favorite from one instance to other instance or we can save our favorite from being disappeared so this was the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos to others subscribe the channel if you have any suggestions or feedbacks for the videos write it down in a comment thank you for watching this video Bye-bye.